Hello there. Welcome to another talk. And um, the Sean Taylor Show. <clears throat> Which, um, you know, was an idea that I had the Sean Taylor Show. I mean, you know, where I could, you know, I could, I could do anything. You know, I could, you know, have a situation where I've got songs in mind to write songs. Anything creative I'm doing, and incorporate it all into the Sean Taylor show. I do try and try and get all my talks onto my website, which is www.lovelightfamily.com. Um, but it isn't always possible because my website. You know, when I'm uploading a video, it only allows three ma main platforms. So if I'm doing a serious talk and if I'm, you know, you know, exposing the COVID hoax or climate change or anything to do with that, that doesn't get allowed because they don't allow truth on YouTube. So, you know, that likely it'll be taken down. I've already got one strike against me, so if it goes on YouTube, as a cer certain level, I can't go past. What I do is I, I watch my videos, talks, listen to them back. Um, now, if it's not, if it, if I've, you know, held back quite a bit, then I might try YouTube. But there's only three sites. But sometimes I can't get on those three sites, for for whatever reason. Um, you know, when I'm trying to upload. Then I'll go to. Sometimes it, it, some of my videos might just go on Facebook or you know Instagram, Facebook. Sometimes I can't get on other video platforms some days are, I've had that so so the best thing would be to follow me on Facebook follow me on Instagram and follow me on YouTube if you followed me on them three sites you'd probably get all my videos um, but everything you know but I do make an attempt you know you know if if I get on those three video platforms you know, so I do make an attempt to try and get all my my talks onto my website. And I'm always really glad. And the three sites is Dailymotion, Vimeo and YouTube. You know, when I first started doing these talks, um, you know, I, I tried writing it down and then doing it that way. And it didn't really work because I'm not, I'm not a natural at this. Some people are like that then I worked out you know okay I'll be nervous for the first couple of minutes but then after that because all the information I'm speaking is channeled information it's not information coming from Sean which is the which is the experience the life experience I had an unexpected spiritual awakening um, just under 10 years ago and ever since that moment I started to get floods of information knowledge about all the stuff I talk about which I found later to actually be in fact and in science as well so this this is a massive journey um, and lately last week I decided to contact a couple of women from my past not all women that I touched or anything like that I mean, one of them I didn't even touch in that way. Um, but I decided to contact them because I didn't, I didn't want to be a guy that waits 20, 30 years or something like that. I wanted to, because I thought, I've got this awakening now. And I just thought that, you know, you, you don't know, you know, your path might help them. You don't know. And I didn't know. And so I contacted him just to make peace, you know. You know, we fell out. But, um, you know, because I reached the point where I, where I was ready to let go of anything negative. And not that I didn't owe these women anything, it, but, it, but I reached a point where it was no longer about who was right and who was wrong. It was just about... It was just about, you know, forgiveness and moving on. 
you know, um, because that's what happens once you've got peace within yourself. Once you've got peace within yourself, you have peace with the outside world. That's what happens. The thing about me is, you know, I haven't, I haven't always been a happy person. The start of my life was, I mean, I was abused in, in so many different ways, um, growing up, um, and sexually as well. I, my parents, they didn't know, but they left me with a child molester, a sexual, you know, beast. And, um, you know, so I went through some problems and, you know, and then the spiritual awakening happened at the age of 24. And it happened because I had enough. I just had enough. And it was I was so authentic in that moment though that it manifested an awakening. I didn't know what spiritual awakening was then. Never heard of it, didn't know anything about it. You know, you think you're going mad, but then I found out later through YouTube, watching videos, that it was the same thing Lord Jesus Christ was going through. It's the same thing that Buddha was going through. And many different religious characters were going through and had went through an awakening which led to the, them becoming ascended masters. So that's what this path is. Um, and... I don't just think I was awakening from the pain in this life, though. Because many people have probably worse pain than I had. I think, I, I know it was other lifetimes, too. You know. Because if it was if it was just this pain, other people, the whole world would be awake. But, yeah, going back to, I was talking to these two women, and, um... Yeah, I, I just wanted to, um... T to move on. And I thought, I, I, th I probably thought, you know, I could take these women with me. I don't mean literally, I mean in a way that, you know, maybe I, c I can be a better friend to them. Like I say, one of them I, I didn't touch or anything like that. Or nothing happened like that. But um, I guess you could say that there was something there. But even though I... I, I I didn't feel I owed this person anything or anyone anything, but I just thought that with me on this path, I, c I can be helpful to people now. You know, whereas before, I couldn't be helpful to even myself. Before, I, I, I believed that I was capable of suicide. I think I was. I think that if I would have carried on in that same narcissistic path, um, then, you know, I mean, you're talking about a guy that I, I mean, I mean, um, you know, I, I did have a lot of issues. And one of the women I was talking to the day and I says, what you've got to remember is that that person had, had, had issues. And, um, and I'm sure if I can, and if I'm, and, and it wasn't like with these women that I was the bad one in all this. But the fact of the matter is, it wasn't about who was right and who was wrong, because they weren't angels themselves. But I wanted to be the bigger person and, um, and move on. You know? And... Um, and I'm glad I did it, because these women, um, I give them, I, I give them my website. So if they're meant to, you know, they'll know about my work and everything. And because really, I have no intentions. I mean, I really am not I don't have any intentions of, of going with any women anytime soon. My relationship now is with this path. My relationship now is with Gaia. Which is the mother of all life. 
And that's what my relationship is with. And for any man to have that relationship, it's all about... It's all about heart-based living and going within there. Um, and that's my relationship. And I guess maybe that's how I was able to... Because before, my ego would have got involved. And I wouldn't have been able to contact them women because of ego. Like one of the women said to me, um, you know, I'm not even, I'm not interested in you. Kept said that a few times. And what I found was afterwards, I thought about it. I thought, that didn't bother me, did it? I kept on thinking about the fact that, that when she said that, I didn't even, I didn't know she was going to say that. I didn't even flinch. And I know the reason why. It's because that this path is all about do, the, um, letting go of the self, the illusion that, is, that the self is just an experience. And when we get paranoid over, like, when if someone say, you, that you like says that to you, oh, she doesn't like me. When we get um, upset, it's, it's to do with the ego. But once, you, but on this path for just under ten years now, now I've been letting it go, and that's why when she said that, it wasn't because I, I don't like her. It was because I've healed a lot within, so now I've got true love within me. Therefore, now I'm capable of giving true love outward, because true love outward is when you're not wanting anything back in return. So I'm able to contact these women, love them. And not want anything back. That's what true love is. And um, it's nothing to do with anyone else. It's nothing to do what, you know, this giving and needing, you know, you, I give to you, you give to me. No, that's not real love. That's ego love. Real love is, you know, when you hear the Buddhists talk about love, it's just like that. But like I say before, this path... I was going on this path. I didn't know anything about Buddhism or... But that came later. Like I said earlier. Um, when I'm talking about my wake and I mentioned that I found Buddhism videos. And um, that was basically going on about the same thing I'm, I'm, I am experiencing. But... Um, and, and, and these um, women that I contacted, yeah... I also give them, like I said, I said this earlier, I give them my website. Because maybe it will help them, maybe maybe it won't. Maybe that was just something that I wanted to do because I couldn't do it before. You know? Um, you know, I, you know I, I, don't, I don't know, but I just, at the time I just felt like I wanted to do it. It was a bit like my spiritual awakening. It was a very authentic moment. And, um, you know, because it was the right thing to do. And that's the thing. Once you're on that authentic path, you do what is right. Not what is right for your ego, not what what's right for that, but what your heart is saying to do. And... Um, because, because, um, yeah, that's, and, and that's what I'm basically just following. I'm just following now everything that's within, everything that was that is within the heart. Because that's all spiritual awakening is. My spiritual awakening manifested because of a mo an authentic moment, and that moment put me in my heart space. And. Um, and that and that changed me energetically um and then I started to go on this path this awakening process you know um I've been going through for just under ten years and anyone can go through it you know everything is within the present moment everything's within your heart area you start doing that and you'll start going through your your spiritual awakening I say that so much all the time, but people don't do it because they choose not to. It's like there's it's like there's heaven. Heaven exists, but there's also the spirit world. They're not the same. 
you know, it's 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 two di- two different realities. You know, but but it's a choice to get to heaven. You begin your heaven journey. Once you go within your heart center, then you connect with source, and then the source is is leading you the way. Then you become your own god. Then you're on the path of oneness. Because and 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 it's and it's a path of love, you know. Love, like I said, like I, I was saying earlier, love starts within you. You have to learn to, you know. You have got, we've got. Um, one of the women, sorry, that I contacted the other day from my past, has got about four or five kids now. Um, and when I was thinking about that the other day, I th- I thought not her personally. Or maybe it is, I don't know her situation. But there's a lot of women that go from one relationship to the next, have partners to different guys, the low vibration, low dimensional women. And the reason they're doing that is because they're they're you know it's 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 fear from, from being alone. It's fear from the present moment. It's a subconscious thing, and so what, what they do is they, they, because we only attract the same kind of love that we give to ourselves. So then, all that type of women are doing. I'm not talking about this woman. I'm talk. I was talking to, but women that have lots of kids. Sometimes it's, you know, they're having kids to the wrong partners, and they say that, oh, it was to the wrong guy, but that's because you attracted that guy because you were in a very low vibrational state. You know, um. And and so and so it's like what what I was what I was just saying. It's all about loving yourself within. You know, be authentic. Um, heal yourself first, and then you raise your vibration. And then whoever you attract in your life will be the reflection of your energy. So basically, to heal everything, it's all about. Going within, have the spiritual awakening, and then you, then you, then you are love. I mean, um, let's face it. A lot of men, when they when they stop talking to women, they fall out. They, they they're not going to contact you again. So I did something there that, that was quite rare, and I knew that when I was doing it. Um, and they wait, and it's too late. You know, I wanted to do it while they were still young, and um, just just to to move on. And like I say, that is that is a reflection of this path, and and what it's led me to. And that you know, someone someone says so says to me the other day on Facebook, um, a friend of mine says that we're proud of you, you know, for for doing that. But I'm I'm actually proud of myself to to do that. But um, this uh, I mean this was a person that, that that didn't have any self love before. I didn't have any love for myself before. Um, and you know now I have got self love, but not not in an ego way. It's not an egotistical self love because the the self love has come because I'm not taking myself seriously. Because I know that the self is is merely just an experience, and everything I'm going through, all the th- everything I'm going through ever since the spiritual awakening, is a synchronistic path. And see, every everything has a point to it. Everything that hap- that has happened has happened for a reason, and it's all perfect. And it's like God, the source, has laid out your life perfectly for you. And the the point to this, because everything has a point, is the is the creator, the source is 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 what's what's making it all, and the reason everything is the way it is, is because of love and the glory of love, and the glory of love starts from within you. And like I was saying earlier about my my, my talks. When I started, I was reading off a bit of paper. I'm not doing that now. This is totally what I'm feeling right now coming out. 
Um, and it's all what I think right at this very present moment. So my talks are authentic. Some people might not do that. You know, some people will just will write it down. But, but if I write down, down something, a minute later, I'm not that same person anymore. You know, I'm thinking differently. And the amazing thing is, the, the all this love that I've got within me now, it's it's not another person that's given me this love. It's within me that's given me this love. Um, and that's why the other day when, I, when that woman says, I'm not interested in you. And I didn't, it didn't bother me because I'm not taking myself seriously. And it's all about let go of yourself. You know, that's what people tell you when you're madly in love. They say, you, you know, you just have to, you're just like, you've let go of yourself. You've, you're not, you know, you just went mad. But that's a good thing when, when it's within you. You're letting go of yourself because you're letting go of the ego that, that ties you down to your beliefs. See, everything's made up by, by other people. And there's no point hanging on to it. Like me contacting them women, there was no point in me holding on to any, anything negative. Because my path could, could very well help them, I don't know. Um, you know, I can't, I can't be with every woman, but I can, you know, and be with them in a way with this path, you know. You know, because if you are empathic towards someone else or more than one person you know I can love them through through doing this path through awakening myself healing myself and whoever's meant to heal from it will do so or or you know it might help them spiritually away but um I'm just going to leave it there for latest updates and talks and news and research Please do visit my website. Um, I try to keep as much new stuff, you know, videos, if, you know, that I can and talks there. If I can get the video on there, um, please do visit my website and check that for latest stuff at www.lovelikefamily.com. Thank you.